What's up everybody, Raimi here, and today what we're doing is I'm reviewing the Renaissance Periodization or RP Strength Hypertrophy app. Um, I'm going to go through the app, I'm going to show you all the features, talk about what I like and don't like about it. Um, right here I'm on the website, but I'm going to log in and I'm going to show you what the app looks like. Now the first thing that I want to say about this app um, that's a little different, so I'm right now in the app, you can see that I'm in the app. Um, this is what the app looks like. Now you notice that I'm on my computer right now, I'm not on my phone. So the way that this app is developed, RP Strength app is developed, is that it's not an actual phone app. Um, it is a browser app, which means you can access it from your desktop or from your phone, um, and it's gonna look and feel exactly the same because it's based in a browser. So like on your phone, you'd access this through Safari and on the, it, your computer, you'd access it through Chrome, Firefox, Safari, whatever you're using. All right, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that as I get into the app. I wanna talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of accessing it like that. But what I wanna do right now is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna walk you through the app. I wanna show you how it works. And then I wanna talk about the features, what I like, what I don't like, who it's for, who it's not for. I wanna talk about the cost and all that kind of stuff. Um, and kinda, of, yeah, we're gonna go through everything. All right, all right, Joe? All right, so when you first log in, so you can see I have just, I, I created like a bunch of workouts and um, have been playing around with it. So this is just like a sample one that's opened up. Um, I've been using RP, uh, um, their templates, their Excel spreadsheets uh, for several months now since I stopped 531 and started to focus on bodybuilding. So I've been using their Excel spreadsheets and I really wanted to try out the app. Um, I got a discount code online that I found and got the app for a little cheaper, decided to give it a month's trial. Um, I'm at the end of my month, I did it. I went through, deleted all my data because I'm not staying with it. I'll talk about why that is. Um, but I wanted to show you all what it looks like before that so you guys can see because I'm on the Facebook group and a lot of people are always like, can I see a review of the app or see what it looks like? I see this on like Reddit as well. People are asking like for a review of the app, like what is it? What does it look like? So I wanted to show everyone. All right. So the first thing that you need to do when you log in. So as someone who's logging in that already has a workout plan, they go right to your workout. But let's kind of start backwards a little bit and talk about how you set this up. All right, so the first thing that you do, you can see on the left-hand side, we've got the menu. Um, there's really not a lot of options, which is good. I actually like the layout. It's very simple, easy to use. So we've got our current workout, which is what we're doing. Our meso cycles, which are basically like all the ones we're working on. You can see like I've created three here for this practice demo that I'm doing right now. These are all my different meso cycles. So you can have like 10 meso cycles open um and be working on them at the same time so like you and your wife could technically or your partner or friend could each be like on your app um you've got templates which you go through and you choose a template so that's like the first thing you do and i'm going to go through this menu first and then we'll go through and create a template we've got custom exercises you can see that when i did my thing i had to create a bunch of them um which is fine great that you can create custom exercises i'll show you how to do that and then just planning a new uh, mesocycle, which is basically the same thing as going to templates. Then down here, we've got like our options like light versus dark theme. Um, for whatever reason, I chose light theme. I don't know. I actually kind of like the dark theme better. I, I don't know why I chose light, but that's what I chose. You've got your profile, your subscription, sign out, help, and leave a review. That's it. I'm not going to click on these because I don't. you don't need to see my information. Um, so we're going to go to up here. So we start with plan a mesa cycle. We click find a template, which is gonna take us right here to our templates. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a template. Now we can create our own templates. You can see like I have some created here that I've kind of messed around with. And what we're actually gonna do is I'm gonna use the save template because I'm not gonna spend the time to go through and do the whole process. But I just wanna like show you an example of one of the, one of the workouts. Cause I, I don't wanna like, I'm not gonna show you all their workouts or anything like that. Like you gotta pay for that. Um, all right, so what I really like to do is I do, I lift four or five days a week, depending on when it is. Right now it's winter. So starting in January, I'll probably go to five days. Come like late spring, I'll start to push that back to four days because I do a lot of surfing and other stuff, golf and all kinds of stuff. So what I did is I was doing the whole body split. So I click on the whole body split 
When you click on it, they show you an example of all the X, all the muscles that are going to be worked. You click plan a new mesocycle and it pops up to this screen. Now this screen is 100% customizable. So here is the workout they recommend, um, you know, day one, like Monday. So it's really upper, lower, upper, lower for four days is basically what it is. And you can change the day like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. That's actually what I do. That's how I lift. When I do five days, I add in a Wednesday because um, I like to lift during the week. Weekends, I got kids, all kinds of stuff going on. Baseball, soccer, basketball with the kids, like, and my stuff. So, all right. We can add muscle groups, so I can like add an, another exercise if I would like to. I can move these around to any order that I would like if I don't like the order they recommended, and I can move things around to different days, which is super cool. When I go to, now what you have to do here is you have to look at their workout and you have to ask yourself, do I like this workout? Now looking at this workout, the first thing that jumped out to me and this was just me picking a random one that I was going to do, is there's no ab exercises. Um, now, I know there's a lot of back and forth about whether abs should be included in bodybuilding workouts. I see some people recommend they don't. Some people recommend they do. Um, I'm a big believer in core workouts and working out your core for sports and everything else that I do. Um, so I have to add an ab exercise. No big deal. Add exercise. Add abs. Perfect, we've added an ab exercise. Then I go through and I choose my exercises. Like for chest, I pick chest. I can pick whatever I want to. You know, they've got all the basic stuff. Bench press, medium grip. All right, perfect. Then I go to chest again for another chest exercise. And I don't like any of these, so I'm gonna click create a custom exercise. I can create a custom exercise here. <clears throat> and they have this, but I'm just, Picking, creating an incline dumbbell press. Choose what it is, what you're using. Um, dumbbells, video. I, so if there was like I wanted to put, I don't know, I don't need a video for something that I'm choosing. It's a chest exercise. This is now saved in my custom exercises. Exercise created. Okay, now I can pick it. Then we need to find it. Incline dumbbell press. Perfect. Now we have our exercise. Now we can move these around. Let's say I don't want to do two chests in a row. I could do like a you know, chest, back, chest, back, tries, buys, shoulders, abs, depending on what I'm doing that day kind of thing. Now, this is all great. I really like this. Um, and I like how customizable this all is. So this all works really well. I like this. Um, we'll get into disadvantages. Let me just keep going through the app and show you guys. Okay, so we're going to act like I created this whole entire, you can see I can even add a day here. We're going to act like I filled all this out because what we're going to do is we're going to go to templates, save templates, and I've already filled it out. Plant. So you can see I just picked that. That's This is the same template that you literally just saw, the four day. I've already added in exercises here. And what we're going to do is we are going to create a mesocycle. So we're going to click create mesocycle. We give it a title. So we're going to call this demo. We're going to pick how many weeks do we want to train. Kitty is walking across the screen. Um, got cats and dogs at my house. My wife keeps like buying animals, which is funny. <laughs> um, all right. And that's because I do not want, I didn't want any animals. And now we have like kid, multiple kids and multiple animals. All right. So. And that happens when you're working out and doing stuff like your animals are there and I'm doing a video. So, all right, so we pick how many weeks we train. So what this means is like, if I pick six weeks, that means I'm gonna lift for five weeks, like following the program. And then week six will be a deload. Um, in RP, Renaissance Periodization, if you watch any of Dr. Mike's videos, deload is usually half your sets, half your reps, kind of like it's a lighter load, deload. Pick if you want pound or kilograms, we'll pick four weeks here. So that means we're going to lift for three weeks hard, like ramping up for three weeks, then do a four week, fourth week deload. I change this all the time, like it's Christmas, so I like how to do a shorter one. I did a four week versus like I'd usually probably do six for bodybuilding, powerlifting. I'd like to keep it at five, three, one, like four weeks kind of thing. We click create and we've created our mesocycle. So it's right here, demo. If I go to mesocycles, I can see demo right here. I click on it. And the first thing that they want you to do is pick. So you notice once you start a workout here, um, we've got our to enter our weights 
and they tell us what they want us to do. So we've got our, how many sets they recommend, what we have to choose our weight, how many reps they want us to do, which for this is two RIR, which means until, which means if you could do 10 reps, if like, if you could do 10 reps and you're done, like that's it, your body is drained, you cannot get another rep up, then they want you to choose, they want you to shoot for eight reps for this week. And that increases week to week. Now, up here, I can click play and I can see a video of how I do this exercise. I can add a note, add a set, remove a set, kind of do stuff like that. I can end the exercise if I'm just done with it. So I can add and remove sets, which is important. Up top here, I can see a calendar. I can actually click, if so if I've done like this day, I can click on it and go back and see my stuff, see what I did that day and everything. All right, now they tell you how to warm up and choose a starting weight here. Basically, they tell you just to do uh, do what you think your 30 rep max is for 12 reps. Do a, basically do a warm up, and in that warm up, choose your starting weight. So we're doing medium bench press for two RIR. Anywhere we're going for something, he recommends. You know, as if you watched any of the videos from um, Renaissance period, it's somewhere in the five to 30 rep range. So let's say I'm going for 20 reps. 20 reps. I don't know. Pick like 150 pounds. Go for it, Do and notice it's the same weight for this set. How many reps did we do? Oh, we did 16 log set. Go do my next set, enter. Also did 16 log set. Now, one thing about Renaissance Periodization app and the way their workouts work is they try to, what, you're, what they're doing is they're recommending what your next reps sets should be based on things like pump, joint pain, um, and how you felt during the workout. So right now a message pops up, joint pain, did I have any? No, I never have joint pain with bench. I click next, I'm good to go. Same thing, parallel pull down. So we say we did 50, we're just making up a weight, we did 10 reps, log set. And I wanna show you something that's gonna pop up here. We did 17 reps of the next, we log set. Oh, they're giving me all joint pain. Uh, we'll get there, we'll get to the part where you talk about pump. So dumbbell, incline press, I'm just entering stuff in so that we have information to go through. You can see, okay, so here's the screen I wanted to get to. So what they do is they're asking for feedback. Joint pain, which we've answered for some of the other exercises. Chest pump, so we just did a check. So how, what kind of pump did you have? Low, moderate, or amazing? So we had, so if I say a low pump and my chest workload was easy, the next day that I do chest, they're probably gonna increase my set. They're gonna increase, so instead of doing two sets, they'll give me three sets. Um, chest pump was amazing and too much, they might drop me to one set or just keep it where it is. So depending on what I choose here, they're gonna choose how many sets that I have. And as you progress through the workout, um, they will increase weight slowly, so like, for bench press, like if I do 150 this week, it might be 152, like 152.5 next, like to increase it by two and a half pound increments, as well as telling you to increase your reps from the last week and changing the RIR. But based on what you chose, your pump, you know, go through and listen to Dr. Mike and he'll talk about how their workouts work. I mean, this is, this is what it is. So I'm gonna go through, I'm just gonna enter in this entire week so we can look at the, what the week looks like. You can see this is going to keep popping up now. And you know what? For chest, let's actually reset it. So I can click on this button and reset my chest. Oh yeah, low and easy, perfect. So remember, we did two sets. It'll probably be three the next week. We'll just check that. So if you mess up entering things in, you can click this and re-enter it. You can also reset the set, reset to re-enter things in. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I want to get through the, the set so that I can show you the statistics and so that uh, I can show you the next week how it like increases. All right, we're right at the end here. Just entering stuff in. Um, but you can see how you do this for every single exercise. So on your phone, this is exactly what it looks like. You're just in your browser doing this. And then I'll show you what it looks like when you are done, how you end the week. We'll take a look at that and we'll look at the next week really quick and then we'll go through and talk about some more stuff so we're going to be done with okay save all right so i'm going to click finish workout 
I'm going to finish my workout, shows me I completed. I can view mesocycle stats. These are brand new, literally just added last week. So something else I should mention about this, app, this video review. If you're watching this, it is mid-December 2023. If you're watching this in like March of 2024, some stuff's going to change. Like they're updating this. So like, you know, things are going to change. Basically, the only stats you get right now are muscle groups, which... I will add is the most important one in my opinion for bodybuilding. How many sets am I doing each week of each exercise? Like that's kind of what I want to see. So I did four sets this week. Next week I might they might have me do six, then eight, then deload. And I can only see for the, you know I only use these muscle groups today, so that's why that's all I can see. Once I add legs and everything, I can see all. Of them. I can see how many I've done, um, and then the other stats are per. I can see like by the exercise. All right, so we're done. So we're done with that day. Now we are on next day. But let's just take a look. Notice. Okay. So notice when I was on Monday, they had me do two sets of bench press. When I was on this dumbbell press, this other chest exercise, I said it was really easy, remember? Low pump, easy. When I go to my next chest day, which is Thursday, Lo and behold, they've increased my sets. They've increased my sets. Well, that's for shoulders. Bench, they did keep the same. But this is how it works. It starts to try to figure out, like, what should I be doing? Should I be increasing or decreasing? That's kind of like the whole point of the workout. All right. So that's how this all works. So those are my, so you can see your current workout, your message cycles. You, there's all these different templates, so they give you all kinds of workouts to choose from. You can see there's like a bunch of them here. If you have the templates, they're very, very, very similar. We can make our custom exercises and we can plan a mesa cycle. All right, so now we're done going through the app. That's it. It looks 100% identical on your phone, no difference in a browser. Let's talk about what I like, what I don't like, who this is for, who this is not for. All right, so what do I like? Um, I think that it's a very simple user interface, um, to work with, very easy to create things. I think as someone who's an intermediate lifter, or, I mean, I've been lifting for 25 years, but just different goals and everything like that, depending on what I felt like doing. Um, I think that it's a nice template. I like the templates. They're easy to work with. Interface is good. Works on my browser, which I really like, so I can use it on my desktop. Also works on my phone. I really like that. I like how they structure the workouts, how it it increases my reps, it increases, increments my weight, and it increments, increments my sets without me having to think about it or plan it out. Although sometimes I do look at the next week and say, ah, uh, they didn't add a set here. I need to add a set of chest. I need to add a set of, of quads or whatever it is. So you still do have to check and add stuff. Um, but it, the idea is that it does it for you. So I really like that. So I really like the workout itself. I think it's a good idea and it's nice. There are some major, I have major concerns about this though, that I want to go through. Um, and I want to talk about those. So my first major concern about this is that I think the workouts themselves, I think the way this is set up, I really think like this app is designed for someone who's like new to lifting. And I say that because and I'll get, I guess I'll get to why I say that. So I say that because, um, for a few reasons, I say that because like, it's like you pick everything and it does it for you. Whereas if you're like an intermediate advanced lifter, like you kind of, you kind of know what you already want to do. So you don't need someone to plan your workout. But like, what concerns me is that like, when I pick the, uh, like that four day template, there was no ab exercises in there. And like, I feel like as a beginner, I feel like I should have beginners knowing they should be doing abs because they might not know they should do some abs sometimes. Maybe they don't need to. I, I but that like that, I feel like they should be working all muscles as a beginner, um, at least a, a bit. Um, and so that I didn't like that, but what I really where it starts to where that line starts to be drawn is when I look at the cost of the app. 
So let's go look at the cost. Here is the cost of the app. So for one month, it's $34. For a six month, it's $199. And for annual, it's $299. So when I think the app is really geared towards like an, an intermediate lifter, like, cause some people ask like, oh, the app didn't, I, they, I think that, okay, so we're at the cost. So I think that for the cost of this, and then I'm gonna get back to the app and talk about a little more things as well about this whole beginner and intermediate thing. So the cost for one month is $35. Cost for annuals, $2,300. Now you can find discount codes. I actually paid $25 for the month. I found a discount code online that worked. It was $25 for the month. Um, and, and on Black Friday, they had this for $250 for the year. Um, so when I start to think about costs and I start to think about this web and not a real app, but it's like a an app on the browser. So when you create a phone app, now I'm, I'm a professor of instructional technology. I understand the tech side of things. Developing for the web is way, way, way easier because you don't have to go through like Apple's ecosystem you, developing a phone app or and usually cost is increased significantly because you got to create an app for Android, an app for Apple. They didn't need to do that. Also, when you're increasing pricing, um, when you're doing a pricing model, Apple takes like, I don't know, 30% of like your profit when you sell an app. So they don't have to pay any of that. So usually what that means is that an app can be cheaper when it's a web browser like this. It also means development of that app is significantly cheaper as well. So everything about this app was cheaper for them to create, yet the app is $300. Now, my Netflix fee, I pay like $6 a month for Netflix, which I think is a lot. I pay like maybe $8 or $10 a month for HBO. My phone service isn't even $35 a month. So, you know, my gym membership, when I belong to a gym, I'm now in a home gym, was only $20 a month. Planet Fitness, which I get is Planet Fit, but it's like $10 a month. So... I have a real problem with this pricing model. Um, I have a huge problem with this pricing model. I think that this app should be like $25 for the year. I think it should be like $100 for a lifetime buy-in and like $2 a month. All of a sudden, I think this app is worth it. At the current price, I think it's a, I can't even believe the current price of it, to be honest with you. And they call it a beta. I'm not calling it a beta. They call it a beta because they're still, as I said, like the stats, those were just added last week. Someone's paying $300 a year for something with no stats. So like that's concerning to me, the cost, the fact that they're calling, if it's a beta, price it as a beta then. What we're doing is people who are paying for this are paying for their development. Like they didn't put the money down pay developers and they're charging, trying to charge you. I mean, that has to be what it, I just can't figure out. This pricing is ridiculous in my opinion. I just wouldn't pay this. So when I say that this app is designed for beginners, I don't think someone who's an intermediate or expert lifter is gonna pay these prices when they can literally just do all this stuff that, where they can, cause they can program themselves right? Like why I'm not going to pay $300 when I can just program myself really easily or use like strong or one of these other workout loggers. Um, so, but then I don't think the app is really designed for beginners because you can like, you have to really play with the workouts. So like that, that was confused. That's all just confusing to me. I don't get any of that. And it all comes down to the price of the app. Um, and I'm kind of, and you know, it's very simple. Like it doesn't do a lot. There aren't like a million graphs and charts here for me to look through. And even apps that have a million charts aren't even a third, they're, they're not even a third of the price of this thing. So it's, I have a, I've a really, really, really struggle with the cost of this. Um, so what do I like? I really like the app. I do not really like the price at all. I think it's ridiculous. I would never pay for this. I mean, I did pay for one month to try it out, but I would never pay again for this because I think it's too much money. But you know what? That's 100% on your call. I'm just telling you my opinion. So who do I think this work, This is for? I think this app is for someone who doesn't want to have to worry about 
using mm-hmm. spreadsheets, doesn't want to work out logger, doesn't care about spending the money at all. Like it's fine. They're it's great. And wants to do a hypertrophy bodybuilding program using RP's <clears throat> principles. This is a great, I think this is great for that person. Um, and I like it. I like it myself. I really like the app. Like, I think it's nice. Um, <clears throat> I don't think this is for a beginner. I think it's just a little, I'd rather see them do beginner stuff. Um, and I also, I don't think, I think the, the fact that this is web developed might be a little confusing to those who are not, have problems with like tech at all. Cause like, they're going to be used to like going to the Apple store. Like I teach students how to use technology and I can tell you that like, I can't just say like to them, open up the browser on your phone. Like many students will be confused about what that is. I need to specifically say, find Safari, find the app Safari and open that up and then go to this web address. Like you have to, uh, so like it become, can become a little confusing why this is a web app versus a phone app. Now, personally, as a tech person, I love this as a web app for numerous reasons. It saves them money. It should cost less, all that kind of stuff. But for the non-tech person, that might be a little confusing for them. Um, so yeah, so that's my review. Overall, like I, I like it. I like the app. I think the app is too much money for what it is. I think it should cost way, 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 way less than it does. Um, but you know, I, for those people using it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. You know, I'm in the RP, uh, Facebook group and I see people really like it and like they get results from it. Like it, the workouts are good. Like I, I agree with all that stuff. I just think the cost is too much. So it is what it is. Um, you know, when I can program the same exact thing on sheets for free, it's hard for me to pay $300 a year for it. But what would I pay? Would I pay $25 a year for this app? 100%. I have no problem paying $25 for the year. And in fact, if it was $25 for the year, I would probably pay for it and use it all next year because I'm planning to do bodybuilding for the year. So that's my review. And I know they're reviewing a bunch, they're creating a bunch of new features. So the stuff I showed, like this is a beta. So like they are creating new stuff. There's new stuff coming. Um, so I do look forward to see like what they create with it and stuff, but like, I do think it's, it's the cost has priced me out of the market for it forever. So, all right, y'all hope you enjoyed. Love to hear your thoughts on the app later, everybody.